Listen to what Joe Biden said when he was cornered at the White House last night about the hurricane relief, about the storm relief. Listen to this. What do the states in the storm zone need, Mr. President? Okay. What do the states in the storm zone, what do they need after what you saw today? Oh, in the storm zone? Yes, sir. I'm wondering what storm you're talking about. The, uh, they're getting everything they need. And uh, they're very happy across the board. He doesn't know what storm they're talking about. The reporter says, what's going on in the storm zone? And Joe Biden says, what? Oh, I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know what storm you were talking about. <laughs> and then on top of that, he says, what did he say? He said, he said, they're happy. They're getting everything they need. And uh, they're very happy across the board. They're getting everything they need. They're very happy across the board. And they're get, we gave them $750 because that's all we could scrape out of the FEMA fund, which we've basically annihilated. We've purged all of that money and sent it to, well, illegals in Ukraine. So they're, they're very happy in the storm zone. Those people in Asheville who lost their homes, who lost their, their, their loved ones, those people in Asheville who don't know how or if they're ever going to be able to rebuild, those people in Asheville who never thought that they'd be victims of a hurricane but now are and aren't getting a lot of support from the government, they're very happy. They're getting everything they need. Does this guy who was on Fox News with Jesse Waters, does this guy seem happy to you? Does this guy seem like he's getting everything he needs? It's it's too late. I mean, they took too long. They, uh, they had, it took them five days to get here. And I mean, it took five days for Biden to come here and he didn't think we were worth coming down to see him, us himself. He had to fly over on his way to Raleigh. Um, it's, it's disgraceful. I mean, they keep saying we the people. No, there is no we the people. It's them versus us. So they're not for us. It's all about them. They tell us what we need instead of just instead of listening to us. Oh, in the storm zone. Yes, sir. I'm wondering what storm you're talking about. The, uh, they're getting everything they need. And uh, they're very happy across the board. Oh, the, 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 the storm zone. Right. It's, I didn't know. I thought I didn't know what you th said. A storm zone. Yeah, yeah. They're no. They're very happy. Those people. They're getting everything. They're getting everything. I don't know if you heard, but FEMA's given them seven hundred and fifty bucks. So they're getting. They're getting everything they need. Fox News put together a montage of these happy people in the storm zone who are so content and getting everything they need. We're not getting the amount of support that we need. We haven't seen FEMA. We haven't seen Red Cross. We haven't seen Hearts with Hands. We've seen no agencies come through here. Most people drive through with their cameras out, filming us like we're animals in a zoo, and don't stop. How could the government do us like this? And how could the whole country just forget about us? Like... It's not enough. What What is being done is not enough. I mean, there are entire communities that have been just decimated. There is, I mean, where is our government? I mean, for Kamala, and I was, I am an, an avid supporter for her to stand in Florida today and make, I mean, make a statement. Where is our government? Sources say over a thousand troops in North Carolina are just sitting around doing nothing waiting for orders that haven't come. They haven't heard from the North Carolina governor and the Biden administration's blocking ongoing rescue operations. They're in the way. They, they are d directly interrupting our ability to conduct missions and operations. Um, and, and I'm not going to disparage anybody because we are trying to work within uh, partner relationships, both government and non-government entities within state and federal and county. Um, you know, we, I went to put a couple of people into a hotel last night and I, they have a security guard at the hotel. And they said, oh, we're so sorry. The entire hotel has been booked for federal employees. And I was like, no, no, I, I have people that would just pull it out of a mountain. That, that are living out in the hills and there's not a place for me to put them because we have federal employees that are staying in the hotel. I slept in this white car last night. I smell like foot and death right now. Oh, speaking of hotels, you know, because a lot of people are saying, where, why is FEMA so bad? Why is FEMA so delinquent? Why is it that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are kind of ignoring this tragedy? Why is it that they can't get the supplies they need? Why is it they only get 750 measly dollars? Um, where's all the money that FEMA has? Well, hmm, that's a good question. And Eric Trump has the answer. 
Sean, right now there are 157 hotels in New York City that are completely full of illegal immigrants. Let me let me just repeat that number. 150 hotels in New York City that are completely full of illegal immigrants. New York City alone spends over a billion dollars a year on illegal immigrants. And then you see these pictures of husbands and wives and children who have lost everything. Their homes have floated down rivers. Their homes have been taken out by mudslides. Their vehicles are gone. Their picture albums are destroyed. Every sentimental value that they could ever possibly imagine is is gone. You know, will, will never be brought back. And what does Kamala do? She comes out and offers seven hundred and fifty dollars. Seven hundred and fifty. The TV in the person's house One costs more than seven hundred and fifty dollars, and you see the the absolute destruction. Sean, of all the political things that I've seen in the last decade, this is the one that bothers me the most. I mean, I don't know what he's talking about. They're very happy. They have everything that they need, according to according to Joe Biden. Once he remembered what the hell he was talking about. The storm zone. Yes, sir. I'm wondering what storm you're talking about. The, uh, they get everything they need. And uh, they're very happy across the board. Across the board, not one person from Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, not one person needs anything. Not one person is sad or crying. Across the board, they're getting everything they need, except they're not. Because the government doesn't have any more money. The government sent their money away, sent it to Ukraine, sent it to New York. They they gave it to the illegal immigrants that they are bringing across the border. And Donald Trump was out campaigning yesterday and wanted to remind everybody about the scam that the government is running, the, the pyramid scheme that the government is running with your money that has been designated for one thing, but has been spent on something totally different. If you want to see how sick and distorted Kamala Harris's priorities are, just consider FEMA. F-E-M-A, you know what that is, right? The Federal Emergency Management Agency. And you read about now all the time because there's nobody that's handled a hurricane or storm worse than what they're doing right now. Kamala spent all her FEMA money, billions of dollars, on housing for illegal migrants, many of whom should not be in our country including one billion for gift cards for illegal aliens and putting them up in luxury hotels with a gift card, with a gift card to welcome them to America. That's a lie. That's a lie. The, that one, the, Kamala Harris, those $1,000 gift cards, that's a lie. That's not from Kamala Harris. Those are from you. Those are from me. Though we are the people that spent the money thinking it was going to go into the Federal Emergency Management Agency so that when there was a federal emergency, they'd be able to manage it. As you would think by their uh, silly us, we're just, you know, we're just going by the context. The context clues tells us that, hey, the Federal Emergency Management Agency is funded by the government and the taxpayers so that if there's a federal emergency, they can manage it. They can get into where the people are. They can deliver them the goods that they need. They can deliver them the food. They can help rebuild. They can get them out of there. They can put them into a hotel. But that's not what's happening. They're getting $750 and they're being left to fend for themselves, which, by the way, $750 is ridiculous. There's no place to spend the money. There's no place for these people to go. The grocery stores, Harris Teeter has five feet of water. The Walmart is out of food. The hotels are being filled up with federal agents. There is nothing for them to buy. They can't go to Amazon because A, they don't have electricity. B, they don't have Wi-Fi. C, their computers are probably at the bottom of the river. And if they even could go to Amazon and order something, Amazon couldn't deliver anything to them. And even if they could, the federal agents probably wouldn't let them through because their orders are to not do anything. Why? Because there's no money. Why? Because Kamala Harris spent it on Ukraine and on illegal immigrants.